people have been telling me lately that I'm just too extreme with my vegan beliefs and that I'm just prattling on like a crazy religious fanatic, telling people not to eat meat and killing animals is wrong when, you know, I've actually relaxed my stance on this and I've become more moderate. I think it's perfectly fine to commit murder as long as your victim died quickly, painlessly, and had a great life before you killed them. And it's actually a lot easier to humanely kill humans. I like to pick out people who have, you know, great lives, who just love living and would hate to die. People with big, loving families, maybe a wife, husband kids who would be absolutely devastated if they died and if they have a job that they love and a great growing career and just you know so much great things to look forward to and a great life ahead of them then i single out those people drag them off to a safe location hang them upside down cut open their throat and just make sure their blood spills into a big jar and then i cut them up into little pieces and keep them in my freeze and I hope all of you live you know great fulfilling lives because you know someone like me just might come around and take it away from you good morning I come to you to talk to you a little bit about the whole Bart K versus vegan gains debate some of what people are saying an update on what I've found out that's going on and um, just some of my own words when it comes down to uh, the type of person that I'm seeing Vegan Gaines is. And some of the people that are rallying behind him and how demented and twisted they are uh, compared to him. I mean, almost, you know, you, when you support somebody that, that says and does the things that he does and then turn around and try to refute that with it's just dark humor, that's the devil's work. I mean, I can tell you that right now. That is the devil's word at play. And it's disgusting, honestly. Um, Bart K is out here trying to, although sometimes it may be controversial, he's out here trying to give people good information. He's out, out here trying to protect people and stuff like that. He's out here trying to give people... He's saying, look, if you want to do a vegan diet, do a vegan diet, but it's not a whole food-based diet. You're not getting all your nutrients, all your amino acids... When you have to put in that much extra effort to get everything in your diet because you're trying to support this sentient beings being preserved, such as animals not being used as food, and you push human life by the wayside, and you're worried more about animals than you are about humans, you've got some things wrong upstairs. Something's wrong internally. And I don't, I, I don't want to say too much about it right now, but let's get into the video. I'm going to show you some of the comments. I'm going to show you some of the things that I found on the internet. And um, I'll, let you delete, I'll, I'll let you decide uh, how to take things on your own. Okay? So let's get into it. Bart K has given Vegan Gains his email, and he has yet to respond to an email. But he has people rallying behind him, as you see here trying to defend vegan gains when there's no need for that. Email contact first. This person here is posting a response from vegan gains. I'm not dodging anything. I'm still going to debate him. I just took the video response down because people were getting triggered by autism jokes I made. Well, here's the thing. You've made many jokes about smashing babies' heads until their brains and guts smash out all over to the place, and you call that dark humor? That's not humor. That's the devil's work. He's barred from making videos on YouTube for two weeks. He might be waiting for that. Either way, he agreed to debate. I don't think he'll back out now. He would have just ignored everything if he wasn't willing to debate. My guess is mid-January. I'm grateful to Bart K for getting me to examine the topic further. It seems like the emerging consensus is that inflammation is the primary cause of heart disease. LDL has some predictive usefulness and may contribute into some individuals, but it doesn't deserve the focus it gets. I was surprised that even oral inflammation, bleeding gums, is an early sign increases the risk of heart disease. Now, whether this whole ban for two weeks is true, I've heard way too many people trying to defend him. I've heard way too many people making up different stories. None of us actually know exactly what's going on. All we know is he had to remove lots of videos for his controversial content because so many re people reported him, carnivores and vegans alike. This is a consensus thing. His content is crap. 
Bart gave him his email address to set a date and time for the debate. He has not done that, and it's been quite a while. This is why I think, people, we need to let them do their thing and stop acting like we know what's going on because we don't know exactly what's going on. Just leave it up to Bart and Vegan Gains and stop passing this prejudgment stuff until we know for sure. This person here says, I like this video, but Vegan Gains has never done a structured debate. I don't see why he would start now. His discussion tactics tend to be make stuff up, ramble on, and my brainwashed fans were just going to say I won anyway. Bart says this will not work for him. And then Matthew Bardsley, I think, Bardsley, says, cool, I just say this with the utmost respect. Let's call it a Bert versus Vegan Gains discussion then. If there's no structure, no moderator, it's not a debate. And I agree. Every one of the debates that I've seen vegans get in, very few are very respectful and well thought out. They're just the vegan trying to talk over everybody else and making them sound stupid when in, real, in all reality, the vegan is the one that sounds silly. This person here says exactly what I said. He threatened to kill babies. He should have been terminated at that point. His account should have been removed from the internet when he did that. He smashes babies' brains out to watch their guts ooze out. Yes, and he wishes harm on people often. I'm shocked YouTube even lets him stay on. Then this person down here wants to defend him and say it's dark humor, you idiot. Are you kidding me? If this is dark humor, why is YouTube pulling his videos down off of the internet? This is not dark humor. Whoever thinks that this is dark humor has some serious issues. When you wish death and harm upon people and you do this over and over again, something is internally wrong with you. And A says, the thing that makes it hard for me to agree between the two is none of them are nutritionists or registered dietitians. Doctors are taught nothing about nutrition and vegan gains doesn't have an education. He goes based off studies. And he cherry picks to leave out all the information to suit his agenda. Absolutely. The issue that I have with this is there are no schools that teach nutritionists and dietitians ketogenic and carnivorous eating. So to talk to a nutritionist or dietitian would mean that you're talking to one that is already taught from the very get-go that these things are very unhealthy and they're going to be dogmatic in their ways, resulting to outdated, uneducated nutritional information that vegans often use. Because if you sit down and talk to a nutritionist, they're going to tell you to eat a plant-based diet anyway because that's all they know. These schools are very democratically driven. They're very uh, plant-based, vegan-based driven now you'll see that there are no real schools that teach whole food eating in general anymore. They think that pushing this plant-based junk is the key to everything, and it's not. In this article, it says, The outspoken Canadian has caused controversy by celebrating the fact that a fellow YouTuber got cancer and blames meat for causing the death of his grandfather. In one of Richard's videos, meat is bad for your health bad for environment and it causes suffering and death of animals and your logic behind eating meat is bacon though so it's okay to cause suffering and death as long as you get personal pleasure and satisfaction out of it but it's not okay for me to kill people even though i get personal pleasure and satisfaction out of it that doesn't really seem fair does it burgess also shares his thoughts on children I fucking hate children. When I see babies in a commercial, I start to gag and almost throw up. I have to look away and mute it. When I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I want to put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it until nothing but blood and pulp on the fucking pavement. Here is a question that was brought up on Quora, www.quora.com. What's your opinion on vegan gains? This person, Rory Costello, I eat food. No, really, I eat food. Answered July or June 20th, 2016. As a matter, as an amateur bodybuilder, I go to the gym once a month, sometimes walk places. I hate him. Don't get me wrong. Vegans are okay in my book. Eat what you want. I'm assuming you have come here from a leafy video for, or from one of his. The facts are that he is doing this purely for attention. He even has a disclaimer at the bottom of his pages. I'm going to be blunt. He basically says, "There's that's no excuse at all to say sorts uh, these types of things, basically. Even for what he calls the tires, this immaturity. 
and very messed up for lack of a better term. He even called Furious Pete names, called him a bad person. I know these aren't the terms he used, but I'm not repeating those. And that he should die from testicular cancer. That really got to me as a as cancer is no joke. It's okay for a 12-year-old on Call of Duty to say, but not any adult. And certainly not to someone who has life-threatening conditions. I reported that video as even though he claims it is a tire, he went too far and continues to do so for other people. His YouTube should be shut down in my opinion. It goes further than troll or even plain insulting videos. Life is a very cherished thing and threats to that are even more for the police. And he does this constantly. I'm taking a break from the article. He's constantly threatening people and constantly threatening things and wanting to smash babies' heads and all this other stuff. Guys, this guy's a joke. And his YouTube really does need to be shut down. If it was picking and insulting, that's one thing, but it's not. And that's why he's gotten into the recent trouble that he's got into with YouTube and they're making him take videos down and he's taking a little break from YouTube because he's pushing it too far. And a lot of the vegans that are standing behind him are, on, are a joke, honestly. Uh, to stand behind somebody saying and doing the stuff that he does just goes to show the amount of deficiencies that vegans have to go through and the corrupt mind and stuff that they actually have that would uh, lead them to a place in their life where they think that supporting somebody like this is okay. I do have a bias, however. I bodybuild myself and generally hate the guy when he talks about his diet. You cannot build muscle on plants. Apart from plenty of spinach, and as many vegans will agree, Taking vitamin supplements on a daily basis is essential. Bodybuilding is a very rigorous regime, and vegan gains are certainly headed for health problems if it continues. I was working on my medical degree, although I have switched to a computer major. I do know what I'm talking about here. Not to mention protein powders is often not very vegan friendly, but essential for bodybuilders. I don't agree with him or his methods, and that uh, makes it hard to concentrate on his videos. He is tiny, and he is. He's not really that big. People, People see this person on the video screen and it makes it blows him up he's not that big but when he takes it too far calling people out like even in that way i feel like something should be done maybe not lock him up as leafy has said but rather as he was doing this for comedic effect just ban him from youtube the nastiness i'm sure many people will agree needs to stop he is forcing completely his views on other people and definitely hurting uh, their feelings a lot the term no offense and force attire should not exist in this way. We really should uh, petition YouTube and Marcus Dibble. And I agree. I think that he has taken it too far way too many times. And that's just the bottom line. He needs to change his content up. He needs to focus on um, on vegan matters and just leave it at that instead of bashing people. So some of you see my stance on this. Some of you see why I've, ha I've taken such... Um, insult to the videos and stuff that he puts out some of you see why i'm bringing to light some of the things that are going on and a lot of the people that follow me thousands of people don't even know who he is well i want to show people who he is i want to tell people about him i want to warn people about him so uh they don't have to deal with somebody like him and when they see his face or his content they can just pass right on by because they know what they're getting themselves into vegan gains if you watch this i've got some news for you or not news i want to make a recommendation Stick to talking about vegan stuff. Quit insulting people. Quit making it seem like you're bigger than what you are. If you think you're actually that tough and you want to keep attacking people and things like that, why don't you find somebody that you'd like to do that to in real life and do that to them instead of doing it on the internet? I mean, just get it over with. If you think you're actually that big and tough, go find somebody that's up to your par and do that. And then Stop being a keyboard warrior. Get out there and just do it. Get it over with. Show us what you got if that's what you want to do because that's how you come across if, you, if that's not the case and you're just simply making it for jokes, quit. Go back to doing your thing as a vegan YouTuber and stop attacking people and teach people about vegan nutrition and do it that way. And if you can't do it, if you don't have the guts, if you don't have the knowledge behind yourself to do that without attacking people, maybe you shouldn't be on YouTube. Show us what you got. Show us in a nice way what you got. Show us about nutrition and stuff if you think you're so right. Quit attacking people because it's very immature, it's very hostile, it's very psychotic, um, and eventually you won't even be allowed on YouTube anymore if you keep doing it. All right, guys. Thank you. Merry Christmas. God bless, and have a great day.